so let's spend a few minutes talking about one Yamato Kaido son. Now, the chapter 984 spoilers, I think, are gonna come out really soon or are already out. But of course, your boy is clean. I lead the straight edge lifestyle. Ah! Art, I don't want to alarm. King of Lightning is straight edge. You'll never, ever catch your boy reading spoilers. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Because I'm not a heathen. I'm not a subhuman. All right? I'm not a heretic. I'm not a mutant. Mutant. You will never, ever catch me reading spoilers. However, however, I do want to give my stance on Yamato before the next chapter comes out because who the hell knows what's up in the next chapter. I mean, my guess is that page one, maybe Ulti. Ulti may be out for like a period of time, but page one, I think will be fine. Uh, we may see more. Potentially, we may divert away from Luffy and Yamato. That's a possibility. I can see us, let's say, going to Marco and Neko. I can see us going to Zoro. Momonosuke right now is being executed again. So there are options here. So the next chapter may not even be Yamato Focus, but I want to get this out before Sunday. And of course, on Sunday, we'll be doing the chapter live reaction live on Twitch.tv, the place to be. Though granted, I still don't know what happened to Dr. Disrespect, but the fact of the matter is that for us, for what I do, Twitch is great. That being said, in the latest chapter of One Piece, chapter 983, Yamato comes in there pretty hot. The man is flames. The man is fire. Like, straight up fire. Comes in there with the Raimei Hake. Like, this is a family one-shot technique. Once you know Raimei Hake, you are guaranteed to one-shot a person. Like, that's how good this is. Raimei Hake! This, this club skill, this club technique, it, it is the real deal. And Ulti gets one-shot and knocked out by... Oh, and of course, it was a sneak attack. So let me give her that credit there. It was a sneak attack. But Yamato, Raime Hake. And then we see, in all of his glory, Master Yamato. His wear, his garb, is very similar to Oden. He has the cuffs on his wrists. And we all know that Odin had those cuffs. When it came to the Hour of Legends, he had those cuffs and he was muscling through. Man, was a Chad through and through. Ah! He also has, I don't know what they're called, but the weird spiral stuff on his back. He has that as well, mimicking Oden. And then he looks at Luffy, Straw Hat Luffy. It's you, isn't it? Grab Luffy, the guy's chase. Seize him, pardon me. I mean you no harm. True, I don't sense any hostility from you, says Luffy, but I'm in a hurry. I've been waiting for you, waiting for a very long time. My name is Yamato. I'm Kaido's son. Now, Yamato means peace, as far as I understand, as far as I recall, in Japanese. And Kaido does refer to Yamato as my idiot son. And Kaido is not the most peaceful guy. Clearly not. The man wants to start a global war. <laughs> Among other things. And he wants to kill himself half the goddamn time. So peace is not in Kaido's playbook. So it seems to me that Yamato and Kaido have a very poor relationship. It's safe to say that Yamato, Kaido's son, hates Kaido. It's very safe to say that Yamato hates Kaido. The reason why Yamato hates Kaido is probably because Yamato is a fan of Odin. So let me start there. Yamato is not Odin. I have seen some theories saying that Yamato's Odin. For sure, 100% Yamato is Odin. And he's Odin because something happened to where Big Mom took Odin's soul and put it in like another person's body. Like, Kaido had a son, but his son was, let's say, very frail, very weak. And when Odin died... Big Mom was, let's say, nearby, or like Kaido called up Big Mom. He is Kaido's son in flesh and blood, but he's but he has Odin's soul. Something weird like that. That's a no. That's a negatory. In fact, I would say that for sure. I'm gonna okay. A 99% chance. It's always like you because because you never know, Loda. 
I mean, he, he did time travel, so it's like, oh, no, no, no. There is a 99% chance that Yamato is not Odin in any way, shape, or form. It is possible that Big Mom does, that Kaido does owe Big Mom a favor because of Yamato. But to say that Yamato is Odin, like again, reincarnated or it's Odin's soul, highly, highly doubtful. A character like Odin, fleshed out the way he was in the flashback with a phenomenal death. I would argue one of the best deaths in a flashback. If not the best death in a flashback in One Piece. And to have that essentially all x all redone because, well, he's now Yamato. And his soul... No. No, please. There's also another theory I saw too where he's Momo. This... this, this, this what? The time travel aspect is being utilized to where it's Momo in the future. Future! He came to the past. <laughs> well, I'm going away now. <laughs> and he is masquerading as Kaido's son. And Kaido has been manipulated in some capacity or... No more! It doesn't make much sense to me. It, to me, it makes the most sense that Yamato is a brand spanking new character, and we're gonna find out more about Yamato as his arc progresses. I don't see, I don't see at all, at all, how Yamato could be Momo, how Yamato could be Odin in some way, shape, or form. Folks said Toki to, wait, wait, what? I understand that there is a hesitation when it comes to Oda and killing off characters. And that, of course, is, is there. It, it, it is as clear as day. The will of P is real. And that breaks my heart every waking moment. I cannot tell you how much sleep I have lost because Pound is not six feet under. It is aggravating to all heaven. However, in flashbacks, Oda is pretty much a genocidal maniac. Oda has no qualms at all, wiping out an entire race of people, literally genocide, in flashbacks. So when someone dies in a flashback, it is very safe to say that they are dead. Kaido's son, Yamato, is, I think, his own unique character, Kaido's son, Yamato. And I'm going to say that Kaido's son, Yamato, was a fan of Odin, a big fan of Odin, to the point where he mimics Odin's garb. He has Odin's back weird things, like his back rope things, like the uh, the sumo things, or whatever they're called. And he has the chains as well, mimicking Odin's like greatest moment, the Hour of Legends. Now, it's safe to say that Kaido's son is also on the older side. Like, I would say at least 30-something, probably like 30, 20, yeah, like maybe late 20s, but I would say either mid-30s, maybe even 40s because he was alive to see this go down. I'm gonna say around 30-ish. Like, I'm gonna say like around like 35, 32, around that age. Probably when he was younger. And we don't see in the flashback. I don't understand why. Because I'm going to guess that he witnessed this himself. I don't know why we never saw Kaido's son in the flashback, but I'm going to guess that he was there to watch Odin's final moments. And this left a lasting imprint on Kaido's son. So Yamato is also aware that Kaido lost, a certain quote-unquote-ish loss to Odin in the past, where Odin was defeated clean. But Kaido is known to be the strongest creature in the world. Like, that's his title. If you ask me who was stronger, Whitebeard in the pre-time skip or Kaido, the world's strongest creature versus the world's strongest man, prime Whitebeard, eh, but Whitebeard in the pre-time skip, I'm going with Kaido, 100%. But yet, he lost 20 years ago to Odin. The only, again, quote-unquote loss. The only man to quote-unquote defeat Kaido, as far as we know. So what does that mean? That means that Yamato kind of sees this whole thing with Kaido, his father, as probably a facade. He's seeing BS in all the Kaido hype because he knows that Kaido lost. 20 years ago. But again, that's 20 years ago. I think that maybe Yamato is a bit misguided. I'm pretty sure Kaido got much stronger, again, over the course of those 20 years. And because of the prophecy that Toki said, Yamato is probably like Orochi in this case, where Yamato believes the prophecy full sail. So when it comes to the whole quote of Strat Luffy, that's you, isn't it? I've been waiting for you, waiting for a very long time. 
if we're going to assume again his age that he's around let's say 35 years old let's say he was around 15 years old when he saw odin die and also when toki had her prophecy and he was aware of that too he probably believed that wholesale all these years all of these years very similar to orochi so because luffy is here with allied forces very powerful people across the board to take down kaido and take down orochi in the promised year that orochi and kaido are supposed to be taken down via the prophecy of lady toki yamato is now moved to assist Luffy because Luffy and company are those who are prophesized to do so. So Yamato, just like Orochi, believes this prophecy wholesale, wholesale. And even though Yamato has clearly trained in the club style of Kaido, because he knows the Thunder Bagua, the Raime Hake, I have my suspicions that he learned this stuff from Kaido probably when he was much younger, probably like before Odin's death. Like let's say during the five years where Odin was going around being a fool, like the country's fool, Kaido may have trained Yamato from an earlier age. But once Kaido quote unquote lost to Odin, once Odin had the hour of legends, and once Lady Toki had a prophecy, Yamato probably said, you know, I'm done, Kaido. I'm done. My dad is a poser. My dad is full of BS. This is all fake. No, 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 no. Odin was the real deal. He was truly a legend. And my dad lost to this great man. That's right. I skipped 113, I'm a legend. And this has been with Yamato for probably many, again, many, many years. A very long time. He's been waiting for someone like Luffy. A very long time indeed. So I think it's really that simple. I don't think he's Momo from a, an alternate timeline or from another dimension. I don't think he's Odin with a soul infusion, no. I think that Yamato in earnest is Kaido's son. He trained underneath Kaido for a period of time, which is why he knows the Raime Hake, the Thunder Bagua, but he hates Kaido. He hates his father. His mother, the one that gave birth to Yamato, may play a big role in this. Maybe Ka potentially, all right? I mean, I'm not going to go, <laughs> this, would, this would be really heavy, honestly, like really heavy. Potentially, Kaido was like Yojiro Hanma from Baki, and he won't, ooh, that would be, mm, and he winds up killing the mother of his own child. That would be tragic and messed up, but Kaido could have, mm, it could be something like that when it comes to Kaido and his son Yamato and Yamato's mom. Now, of course, I'm assuming that Yamato's mom is dead, but she could be also in the world, who the hell knows? But that being said, mom is not around. That could play a role into his hatred for Kaido. And then on top of that, a Big Mom has her own this too. I doubt that. I really do. I feel like Big Mom's, what Kaido owes her, is probably more ties to the Rock Pirate stuff, probably before Yamato was born or when it was just born. And of course, I'm not talking about Big Mom actually giving birth to Yamato, obviously. Please, please spare me on that one. Please, Oda. I, th I think for now that's been thrown to the wayside. However, there is a possibility that Big Mom does play a role in this as well. And also, potentially Ace right weevil being whitebeard's son quote unquote could come in at some point in wild country and if he does come in he may be a true force of nature potentially ace is the son of goldie roger yamato is the son of kaido so it's kind of like when you think about luffy and ace and how atama those things came to a head and how ace was very similar in trying to free wano kanji so like inevitably right Again, Yamato doesn't like Kaido because of Oden, probably. His mother may play a role in this, but who the hell knows? Ace had a very similar notion to Luffy in the past a few years back. This means that Ace and Yamato would be in lockstep when it comes to their desire for Wano Country's freedom from Orochi and Kaido. And potentially Ace let I mean, I don't know why he would, but let's say at some point they had a conversation between, let's say, Yamato and Ace, and Ace brought up Luffy. Which also solidifies the Straw Hat Luffy. That's you, isn't it? I've been waiting for you, waiting for a very long time. So Prophecy and Ace talk about Luffy to Yamato, it kind of adds up there. So that is my stance on Yamato right now. We'll see in the chapters to come what Yamato is about, maybe if we don't cut away from Yamato, but I'm going to assume that Yamato and Luffy are gonna talk for a bit at some point in 
the let's say one two three or four chapters from now who the hell knows but i'm gonna catch you guys and gals on the flip side let me know your stance on yamato uh but depending on when this video comes out we may know more because the spoilers could be out relatively soon and i'm not too sure if i don't know just just you know I, i'm going to avoid the comment section for this video discussion i am i have to because now i'm afraid if the chapter comes out and we get no yamato i will revisit the comment section and see what folks think and then i may do follow-up video on this video as well so that being said guys and gals that's it i'm done comments in the comments section down below on your stance on the subject matter at hand of course, be sure to rate the video. Not that hard to do. I guarantee you that because I know that you all have a device called Zaymousu. You use Zaymousu to click, 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 rate the video. To click, 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 subscribe. Whoa. To click, 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 subscribe. To click on that bell to join the squad. And of course, as always, feel free to once again, please do comment in uh, the comment section down below. Peace. Uh, and have a nice God. Damn day.